welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at the strike attack press the suitcase. let's jump into the review this is a figure i shockingly found at walmart along the best of behavior sir and a few other figures but yeah let's look at the um actual packaging so it has the usual shores logo blue and beta press the suitcase, dino tracker logo jurassic world logo and all the other stuff on the back end the other few figures which i was able to spot these two but i did not spot gigantospinosaurus but yeah, let's actually get it out of the box. Just gonna take these cut wire cutters and just cut it out. Um, yeah, there we go. Get this box out of here. Here is our press to sutures. First, let's start with the detailing, which we have very fine detailing which Mattel usually does give to animals that are not actual dinosaurs, but very fine detailing, a nice sail across the back. This one just really has nice pebbly detailing and some scoots on the feet. Lots of toes and the Jurassic World logo down there. Lots of belly scoots. And yeah, take a look inside the mouth, which is molded in a pinkish red color has some pretty big teeth and a bit of an odd head shape for prestige which i saw a lot of people that are not a fan of which it could have looked a little bit more um prestige just like but looked really similar to the post suitcase and they probably just didn't want to um make them look too similar though i think they should re release a repaint of the um, post suitcase since that figure is really rare and it's one of their um better non-reptile well non-dinosaur figures but yeah Let's move on to articulation, which the legs move backwards, forwards, and a little bit outwards. And then for the front legs go forwards, backwards, and also a little bit outwards. Put that back into standing position. Just want to straighten the legs up. Now, let's actually real fast move to the action feature, which is a nice, simple chomping action feature. Mattel, all, a lot of figures, we just need a chomping action figure. That says a lot, especially compared to the Giganotosaurus, which really only needed a better head sculpt and just a chomping action feature instead of that weird twirly one. So this is pretty simple. I do like just pressing this button and just being able to just go. Likeable. Kind of like the Legonops from that Kenner made, where except you had to pull the leg back to do that. Or, I think the post suitcase in fact, actually did the same thing. It's just a chomping action feature. But, yeah, this is a pretty nice figure. I do want to pull up the scan code for anyone whom be interested in it. You guys able to get the scan code up. And get my camera to focus on it. She doesn't want to do. Okay, there we go. Let me bring you a bit closer for you guys. But yeah, I'm actually surprised I was able to find this figure because this is another one I was not expecting to end up in short in stores and end up just being a online exclusive mostly. But yeah. Oh, I also did not notice that the tail swivels, so you can make it look this, this really weird fin tail. But yeah. Let's actually move on to the size, which this figure measures in at about 8 inches. So pretty sizable in length. And then at the hip, 3 inches. Yet at the head, about 2.5. Now let's actually compare it to a few other figures. First, let's use the Dacosaurus, which is another one of the newer Dino Trackers figures, and it actually kind of has a similar feel to this. Then there is the other Shores, another Shores, which is the Chronosaurus, which absolutely dwarfs it. Here is the Nothosaurus from Wave 1, which I really like. And... Also, the other figure that I found at the same store as this one, the Best of Behavior Sir, which also dwarfs it. I 
do not have the Postosuchus, but I do have the Sarcosuchus, which also have very color head colors. But here it is. It absolutely dwarfs it, of course. And here's a human figure, which is real nice. And real fast, I really didn't think about this, but I think it might be a good comparison is the Scutosaurus, which, if you don't know, the Postosuchus and the Scutosaurus, I think, were released in the, at the exact same time. And they're both two of the more rarer dress whoopers that are like $100 if you buy them um, now. And thankfully they released, re-released Scutosaurus, so I was able to get it. And so we can compare it to this. And maybe if you find a review of the Postosuchus and they compare it to the Scutosaurus, you can kind of get an idea. But, yeah. There's them. Now for my final thoughts. This is a very nice figure. Though it does have its flaws, I still think it's a pretty well-detailed yet simple action-featured figure. If you see it, I would recommend picking it up because also I feel this figure is one that could possibly become very rare anyways. So if you pick it up now, you won't have to worry about trying to get it later. And I will try to put links in the description for this, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Hello there. I'd like to let you guys know that, well... Let's just, let me show you. We've got merch. So, please buy some merch.